Angola from Angola. We're finally out of Central Africa, thank God. It's the home of creepy shipwreck beaches, 30 centiliter diesel, and even better, 30 cent beers. Cheers! managed to get dirt in around the beat, so I need to use the high lift jack to break the bead open. Alright, so I've just finished cleaning the bead out, got the oil, the deodorant can, reseal it, pump it full of air and we're good to get back on the road. Can you explain why you're using deodorant? Ah, uh, you'll see. What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? And she's sealed. Oh, look at my leg here! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Fuck. Oh my god! I've got... I'm, I'm, I'm locked up, I'm sliding. Bloody hell! Go, Pumba! Oh. Go! <laughs> We've been invited out to a car show and as it turns out they've booked us a fucking display spot with the vehicles filthy. Ah, oh, my inside is cringing. Our car's been stolen. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi! Hi we're people from New Zealand! <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna get some fish tonight. Right Bruno? Yeah, probably. Yes. <laughs> we'll have like fish from this size to bigger than me and every type of fish you can imagine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if we don't get any fish then we get, we, we always gonna be fine because we got cookers. <laughs> Angola Mountains and we just passed through a village that we already passed through about three hours ago. We've done a very scenic 80 kilometre circle and we're back to the start. Oh God. Still have 250 kilometres to go until our destination.
where we camped last night. This is the second largest waterfall in Africa, so you'd expect there to be a shit ton of people here, but we're totally alone. There's nobody here. Pretty cool. So I've been driving on this road for a few hours now and Jesus, it's probably some of the worst washboards we've had in this whole journey. Shaking everything loose and hopefully the beach at the end is going to be worth it. Ready to leave this rather lovely beach? I'm not actually. Is that whales, dolphins? Oh my god! <gasps> drove us up there and we did not die. Oh, it's scary, it's really high. We got warned by some locals that um, part of the track on this route that we're trying to do is called the tire shredder. And I think we've reached this point. The state of these rocks, bloody hell. And how many spare tires do we have? Two. No, we have one. simplest drive is turning into a nightmare. We're about 300 k's from where we need to be. Um, so far we've already got bent steering rod and now we've just burst two tires on this side. Well the good news is we're back on Tarsio. The bad news is this! Our third blown out tire for the day. So this is the fourth tire in less than 12 hours. I'm literally about to cry. K's from the Namibia border and we're down our fifth tyre in 48 hours.
So after limping ourselves, what, the 800 kilometers through the Namib Desert, mm. searching for tires and scavenging to find bits and pieces to keep ourselves going, we got within spitting distance of the mechanics before Pumba shit the bed. And the steering rod finally snapped, so we had to put Paul Pumba on a tow truck. It was all a bit disastrous. Depressing. Cost an absolute bomb, but we still had an amazing time in Angola. Yeah, absolutely loved Angola, loved the people, went on some amazing adventures. You got a lucky shirt. Yeah, well, not so lucky. I got a cool shirt, not so <laughs> lucky shirt. But now we're in Namibia, ready to see some big animals and get dusty. Bring on the big five. Happy Tiff. Ciao. <laughs>